Hello everyone, Happy New Year. This is Susie Q reporting live from my kitchen. Uh, today, it's a new year and so we cook the traditional foods uh, for to give us luck and money in the new year according to my grandmother and my grandmother's grandmother. So we are cooking some soul food today. Black eyed peas, okra because it's delicious. We've got some greens, we've got arugula, some fennel. We're doing a non-traditional um, traditional meal today. Usually I, I do the full salt pork, natural pork flavoring vibe, but you know, we've got some vegans in the house today. My baby sister is bringing her Australian girlfriend home, so we, uh, we gotta respect. We gotta respect, although the Australian girlfriend really liked big piece of meat that I made um, the other day. Please go check out um, that video, Baby's First Brisket. That's my partner, Michael Vegas, adult film star and lover of ladies and of all genders. Oh my God, woo! Okay, so we've got some avocado oil um, hot in the cast iron pan. And make sure you wear an apron. Can I put Did you also get the little spritzer, or not spritzer, the screen that comes under here? <laughs> Ooh, very nice. So I got this a little hot. I'm just going to turn it off for now. So now we've created a terrible situation because the moisture is collecting inside the pan and dripping onto the hot oil. It was good matter though. Matter. So this isn't going great, um, but that's okay, you know? This is homemade. <laughs> it's, it's, it's homemade and therefore it's made with hustle, you know? <laughs> we work with what we can. Um, I'm gonna wait till daddy's down from there. These are a te you know how the first pancake is a little, eh? Uh, no screen. No screen? <coughs> it's a, it's a, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, Now's yeah. a good time to have some wine. Yes, yes, yes. This is a great thing to have. I don't know what it's called, but it prevents the exact thing that we were talking about that is causing so much pain and turmoil right now. So, put the screen over it to protect but then the condensation, it's better than a lid, because the condensation doesn't then drip. Whew, crisis averted. Okay. 2020, you are very serious. Very, very serious. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep tossing pre-cut southern style breaded okra. Frozen, this is from Ralph's like on sale last year. I bought too much of it. So this has been in my freezer for a year, full disclosure. Um, but we're gonna eat it anyway because that is the power of frozen food technology. Um, so yeah, a lot of people don't like okra because they think it's slimy. And if it's cooked the wrong way, it is slimy. It's a seed pod that is full of little seeds, you know, and the seeds are surrounded by goo, if I'm being quite frank. Goo. Um, so if you don't address that goo with something to either absorb it, like red crumbs, or something to cut it, like something with acid, like lemon juice, or tomato, or I don't know, maybe balsamic vinegar? I don't know. I have a, don't quote me on that. Um, that will cut up the slime. It will, you know, break it up a little bit so it's not um, so slimy. Because that, you know, I'm pretty set with texture. Like, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I can't eat that. The texture is too yucky. I'm not one of those people. I'm, I'm down for all kinds of textures. I'm not squeamish about that. But slime is slime, you know? Um, I do have one more bag of frozen okra, but it's not breaded. It is naked okra. And I really want to try making like a tomato curry type of situation. Um, 
with that okra so stay tuned please subscribe to my channel um, and click the bell so you know when I am on I do a lot of live um, streaming I'm trying to get to a thousand followers so I can live stream from my phone this is not currently live right now even though I said it was um, but I'm gonna upload it right away so okay we've got our okra on now this is not vegan oh no it is yeah this does not have egg or anything in it, it does have wheat it's uh, not gluten-free by any stretch of the imagination cheers um, I'm drinking Underwood Pinot Noir Willamette Valley Pinot Noir is the only Pinot Noir worth talking about, really. This is my kitchen. I spend a lot of my time here when I'm not shooting adult films or fighting for social justice. I'm in here. I'm in here <laughs> making food. Um, I come from a long line of women who cooked. Um, I learned how to cook from my granny, my Aunt Carol, and yeah, it is my pleasure to bring you these gems of cooking wisdom. So let's check on the main event, which is our black eyed peas. Now they cook like beans, you get them like uh, frozen or, or you can't get them frozen. These are actually, um, dried so I, I should have soaked them overnight I didn't I uh, just put them right in the crock pot trusty crock pot name brand crock pot and uh, whoo it was on low for let's see I started these about two so it was on low in the crock pot for probably three or four hours and then it's been on high for another about three hours so they should be good to go. Let's like give them a little checky check. By the way, that is my Vitamix blender up there. It is like the best utensil or kitchen appliance I have ever owned. Okay. Ooh, these look good. Now you don't want them mushy. You don't want them mushy. You want them buttery. Buttery, buttery. And because I have, there's no pork, there's no salted pork in here, I'm worried that they're not salty enough, so we may have to add some salt. Ooh, 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 hot, hot, hot. I like don't use utensils. I like to cook with my hands, which is terrible. That's why I'm never going to be a professional chef. Bitch. It's over. It's over. Okay, so I'm going to put it down to low. Actually, I'm just going to put it on keep warm. Honey, do you want to try these? Mm-hmm. Here we go. It smells so good. Mm. It's good? So good. So good. It's okay without the pork? Yes. All right, so those are good to go. We have some jasmine rice that I prepped earlier that has a little bit of butter in the bottom. I put it in just when the pan was still hot. Uh, so we'll toast the bottom of the rice. It's a Middle Eastern tradition called tabik. And this is leftover Brussels sprouts from, tonight, from last night. Uh, Brussels sprouts, we've got oranges, pecans, um, onions. Yummy, yummy, and that is gonna go on top of this beautiful fennel, apple, arugula salad, this gorgeous cheese plate that Michael made, and um, yeah, that is gonna be our New Year's Day dinner. I'm really, really excited about it. It's all gonna come together perfectly. So um, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I would love to, or if you have suggestions, that things you'd like to see me try and make, I'm up for a challenge, but um, I hope 
You have plenty of luck and plenty of money in your new year. I hope that you enjoy your black eyed peas or whatever traditional soul foods um, are meaningful to you in this time of uh, solstice and winter. I love it. Well, happy new year, everyone. Please subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media. I'm Suzy Q Media on Twitter and Instagram and SQ Fan Club on Snapchat. I love you so much, and until next time, this is Suzy Q.